Today I'm going to show you why you need the Freenov breakout board for the ESP32 and the ESP32S3 boards. From what I've been reading in the forums, this Freenov breakout board is specific to the Freenov ESP32 and the ESP32S3. Like the other ESP boards, you have to be creative to get this to fit on a breadboard. But once you do, it's kind of a pain to have to pry it off to get access to the SD card. But now that I'm using this breakout board, not only is it easier to retrieve the SD card, but it makes prototyping a lot easier as well. Well, let's just see what this board has to offer. The Freenov breakout board supports both the Freenov ESP32 and the Freenov ESP32S3 boards. And I should say, first of all, you want to pay attention to the orientation when you're placing your board on the breakout board here. You want to make sure that the antenna is going in the right direction and you can see the diagram on the board here. If you uh, insert it incorrectly or misalign it, the board could be damaged. You shouldn't have any problems placing your ESP32 on the breakout board. It's an absolute perfect fit and now as you can see I have plenty of clearance underneath and I can get to that SD card without having to pry it off of a, one of the standard breadboards. At the bottom of the breakout board you will see the external power jack here and you can use 7 to 12 volt power supply here but it is recommended to use a 12 volt 5 amp power supply and here's the power supply interface you've got the ground over here and the 3.3 volt right here now the 3.3 volt pins uh, they can only output a maximum of 0.5 amps and it's suggested more for powering external chips and not so much recommended for uh, high current circuits so keep that in mind on either side of the board here, you see the LED indicator circuits. These LEDs can indicate the level status of your ESP32. The inner row is for the ESP32, and then the outer row is for the ESP32S3 boards. And sometimes you'll see an asterisk there, like there, and then down here. And that just depends on which ESP32 board you're using, because a couple were released with different pinouts. But uh, yeah, the left side is ESP32, and the right side is the the pin numbers for ESP32 S3. Over here we have the pin expansions and the yellow header it connects directly to the ESP32 and you'll also see the terminal blocks here that is uh, the same as the S uh, pins right here the yellow row and that also is just another way to connect to the ESP32. Uh, personally I like to use the screw terminals they're a little more secure but uh, you can use either one of those. Here's another look at the screw terminals, and yes, they are very small, and they have very small screws on the top, but luckily, this uh, package came with an extremely small screwdriver to help you tighten your screw terminals down. And if you have a lot of terminals to tighten down, this can get quite cumbersome. That's why I recommend some type of miniature screwdriver set. I personally have the Cobalt Electronic Repair Screwdriver Bit Set. It's a 50-piece set I got from Lowe's. And the handle spins, the tip of the handle, and some people call it a palm driver maybe, but I like it because it rotates freely. Now the red header here receives 5 volt power from the external power supply, which you use right here in the DC jack, and it can support a maximum of 3 amp current, so that's a nice option. And the black header here connects to external ground, and uh, I think it's a pretty good option for connecting to your ESP32. When it comes down to it, I bought this breakout board for three reasons. The first reason is that I can get the SD card out easily. The second reason is that once I attach the ESP32 board to the breakout board, I probably don't ever have to remove it. And the third reason would be for the LED indicator lights. You can look at the indicator lights and tell what the status of the pin is, whether it's high or low. And sometimes it may come in handy for debugging because you can tell visually what pin may be giving you the issue. Well, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoy this type of stuff. Be sure to check out our Facebook page, and I will see you again very soon with another video.